Hello, Epic Plasma Gamers. Welcome to my fourth devlog on Lil Shell's Adventure, which is a Zelda-like adventure game I've been making in Unity. It's uh, quite cool, you see? It's a remake of a remake of a remake of a game which is made by Dagan Stam, which was based off of my Minecraft YouTube channel. Hello everyone, Lil Green Shell here, and welcome to the Fringe. Anyways, this week I worked a lot on text boxes, some enemy health, and some player health, and I even tried to tackle knockback, but it didn't quite go so well. Anyways, let's get right into it. So I started this week off trying to do text boxes, and I knew I had to really get this right, because a big reason why I decided to remake this game in the first place, instead of just continuing with what I had, was because I was so sick of the text box system I had, which was really complicated and just took a long time. So I decided I was going to actually watch some tutorials on this one, and I found this really good Rakis tutorial. I'm sure you guys know how to find it, but I'll leave a link in the description because it was really nice, and I followed that to make what you see here. And I spent the rest of the day tinkering with it. I edited it so you can go in and activate it by pressing space, and also it can change who's talking, which is not a thing it showed how to do in the tutorials. I think it turned out pretty well. It looks a lot better, and it's a lot easier to make. And overall, it's just I think this is going to really improve the game. So I decided I wanted to add some waves into this game, and I wanted to do it differently from what I did before. I wanted to do animated waves because I feel like it would just add more life to the scene. It actually made me pretty angry because I didn't realize that animated tiles weren't a default part of Unity, and I had to download them. So it took me a while to figure that out, but I found an excellent tutorial by Baddock, I believe. I'll link that in the description. But yeah, I, another thing I did was I made the first NPC in this game, which is Big Papa. That's right, guys. The biggest Papa you'll ever meet. He's actually named after one of my coworkers. Don't worry, guys. It's not his real name. And uh, he's, I decided he's going to hand you your sword, and you can use that to fight the crabs down below. Speaking of which, I made it so you can actually destroy the crabs if you hit them enough times, which is cool. Now, I told you guys I'd try to do knockback. Indeed, I did try, but... I kind of failed. As you can see here, it teleports you back instead of moving you back, which, uh, it's just not the epic Plasma Gamer way. But, that honestly would have been fine with me, except for the fact that you can use it to knock yourself out of bounds, as seen here. And that's just kind of no bueno, if I do say so myself. So, an older me would have just redesigned the entire world to work around that, but I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to try to figure out, I think the player actually is just going to go into ghost mode for a little bit. I want the enemy to get knocked back by the sword. So I'm going to try to figure that out next week. Speaking of which, I was watching this awesome video about game dev by Extra Credit. And it was about the minimum viable product. And I really liked it. And I think I'm going to try to get a prototype of this game out in three weeks. And it's going to be just the base mechanics. That way I can get a better feel for it. And if you guys have been paying attention, we've been working on this about two and a half weeks. But I think we can round down to two weeks. That means we have one week left after this episode to finish the prototype. So this is what two weeks of working on my game looks like. It's um, looking pretty snazzy if I do so myself. And you guys may notice on the top left corner there's some health UI, and this actually works. If you get hit, it goes black, and um, it's pretty cool. I'm kind of worried about it in the future. I don't know how you can add more health or how you can carry the health to the next scene, but that's alright. That's a problem for future Dominic. Um, I'm super happy with this so far, and as I said, in the next episode I plan on having a working prototype out. Not for you guys to try just yet, I'm going to work on that a little later in the future, but a prototype for me and some friends to test it out, see if it's fun. And in the next episode I'm also going to try making some enemies, like make it so they actually move and stuff. I've been making an enemy class as you've seen, and it's working pretty well, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time.